Hi, this is Wes Fryer. It's October 9th, 2015, and this is a quick little video demonstration of how you can use Apple Remote Desktop to copy a file to all of the computers in your computer lab, and this can save some time when you've got to uh, deploy something or just put a file on students' desktops that you'd like them to be able to use. So here's how you do it. So I've already launched, obviously, the remote desktop application, and I created a folder that includes the computers. I've already done this to computers 1 and 2, so I went ahead and selected um, all these computers. I did that by uh, clicking on the first one, holding down the shift key, and clicking on the last one that I wanted to copy. And now I'm going to go up here to manage and choose copy. I think there's also a shortcut right here that I can choose. But make sure that you select the file, uh, or the sorry, uh, the computers that you want to um, copy to first. Um, the file that I want to copy is actually on the, my desktop. Uh, it's just right here, and or I don't know, maybe I moved it somewhere, but there, this is it. So I'm just going to going to drag it here and um, I can specify where I want to place it. I'm just going to place it right here on the user's desktop. I'm also going to, uh, they don't have it, so I'm also going to choose uh, if something happens to stop the copy and then after copying open it. So it'll go ahead and open it and it'll do that on all of these computers simultaneously. So go ahead and click copy and there it goes. Now I haven't figured out how to make the computers wake up from sleep for a remote desktop so I did have to go touch the space bar on all the computers and make sure that they were all awake and that way they would be able to receive a command from Apple Remote Desktop and uh, that would happen but boom look at that it just copied it to 15 computers simultaneously so that is Remote Desktop by Apple an $80 program available in the App Store helpful for computer lab teachers now as I come up to all the computers in the lab they all have that program on the desktop and that file is already open, so pretty slick and a way to save a little bit of time.